for patients with hepatitis B and hepatitis C, if the treatments don't work, if the treatments aren't tolerated, or most commonly, if the patient comes to medical attention at too advanced a stage for treatment to make a difference, then the only option we have is liver transplantation. Liver transplantation is extraordinarily successful at removing the scarred, damaged liver or even a very small, isolated liver cancer and replacing it with a healthy liver. The problems with transplantation relate to, one, we have a shortage of organ donors. Two, though they cure the cirrhosis, they do not cure the underlying hepatitis B or hepatitis C. We are very good at controlling hepatitis B with medications after liver transplantation, the so-called oral nucleosides and nucleotides, but interferon is even harder to tolerate after a transplant than before one. And so we don't have good treatments for recurrent hepatitis C after a liver transplant. Transplant is recommended for hepatitis C when the liver becomes too sick to, to sustain life or when a small cancer develops. Because though it is not curative for hepatitis C, it eliminates the scarred, damaged liver. And though the new liver may progress over years to decades, hopefully medical technology will come along and as treatment advances, we will be able to treat the majority of those patients prior to them developing cirrhosis in the new liver. But when you look in 2010, recurrent hepatitis C is one of the leading causes of failure of a transplanted liver. So we clearly need better treatments or an attempt to eradicate the virus prior to the transplant which usually can only be uh, achieved with a living donor liver transplant.